Hey everyone, how is it going? John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. Another day, another shave. Coffee of the day will be Costa Rica from Sterling Roastery. Good stuff. A uh, little light. I like dark, as I mentioned before. That's okay. Uh, just means I can drink more. Mm. That's so good. I love their coffee. I've noticed that I've really kind of been gravitating towards using theirs lately. Um, I did just check, take a shower, so my hair is kind of crazy. I think I do need a haircut. I need one for a while. All right, so no uh, history shave today. I do have one written out. I was planning on doing one, and then I picked the uh, set that I wanted to use today. And I promptly became torn. So I almost actually did the video yesterday. Slept on it, literally, and decided, okay, I'll hold off on the history shave. The history shave that's coming up is a request from a friend of mine, so I'm very excited about it. Can't wait to do it. But for today, I just figured I would do, it would be too much for one video, and then I'd be going into an hour-long video, and I'm not doing that. So I decided I'm going to do kind of a loose review video and just a general chat, because I've had a lot happen the last few weeks. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I have, and then I'm going to put pre-shave on so I can talk through some other stuff. But today I'm going to be reviewing using not really reviewing i i don't really do reviews per se i don't think anyways i i know there's people who are professional reviewers i don't consider myself one so i will just say i'll be using this for the first time on camera which i am so art of shaving sandalwood i got the pre-shave oil here we go you zoom in on that instead of my face there we go and the aftershave balm I don't know if they have a splash. I didn't go and look. I should have. Because if they do, I want to order it. Um, but for the time being, since I don't have the splash, I'll be breaking out a splash I've not used in a long time. And you can see, barely. Um, special Reserve from Club and Pinot. Pinot, whatever. And I'm going to be using my King C. Gillette. One of my favorite razors that I own. And I'll be using treat blades with that i also am not very familiar with the treat blades carbon steel double edge blade i am not sure if these are um, aggressive or not we'll find out and i'll be using art of shaving brush all right so let me go ahead please excuse the water it should be the only time in the video there's water or at least for this long i have a bowl here that i a swishy bowl that i uh switch the razor around then for this exact reason all right oh crap i gotta grab a towel and i've locked all my towels up so give me one second poof there we go i hate when that happens all right it's very annoying when i forget something so i'm gonna put on the tree shave oil there is no uh inhibitor whatever they're called i think it's an inhibitor you gotta be very careful. Ooh, that's way more than I meant to do, and I do more than I than they usually say to do on the uh, instructions. All right. So essential oil. Ooh, this stuff's sticky. Very sticky. I don't know if I like that or not. I know it's oil, but that's really sticky. Um, so this set, I, pre-Christmas, leading up to Christmas, um, I was in Marshalls, I love Marshalls, and I found a Art of Shaving set, so it was a four-piece set, it was the brush, the soap, the pre-shave, and the ball, for 60 or $70, I think it was 70 at Marshalls, which is a lot. Um, I know about Art of Shaving. I've been on the fence about trying it simply because of the Procter & Gamble attachment. Which might be silly, I don't know. I just, you know, for, for the wet shavers who got out of the can crap made by Gillette and all that, and Colgate. Not Colgate, I'm sorry, I love Colgate palm olive. Palm olive soap anyways. Um, so we're, I think we're leery of the big, big stuff like Procter and Gamble. But I always wondered about it. And then I read some reviews on it and someone said that the sandalwood scent's really good on it. 
com comparable to uh, Pro Razor Red. I thought, oh, that's interesting because Pro Razor Red is one of my favorite sandalwood scents, like in pure Indian sandalwood. Which I agree, it is. But 60, 70 bucks, I'm like, nah, man, that's, you know, that's a full sterling set. If you get a four piece sterling set, you know, the pre shave, the uh, soap, splash, and balm. I'll say three piece, four piece, two piece. This is a four piece because it came with the brush. Um, so, anyway, where was I? Oh, so I just, I couldn't justify spending 60 or 70 bucks on it. So, Went about my, my day, was in Marshalls again, saw it on clearance for $38. And then I went, okay, now you have a deal. So 38 bucks, picked this up, never tried it, very excited about it. But um, one thing I don't like is the instructions or the uh, ingredients are on the box, not the uh, bottle. So I'm not a big fan of that. So I won't be reading off the ingredients. Um, they, they looked okay. There's some fakey stuff in there that I'm not used to seeing, but for the most part, it looked okay to me. I've passed up stuff that had a, you know, paragraph that long for just a bomb or something. I'm like, yeah, you don't need half of that, but I uh, will put this up. I went and Googled, there we go. Um, I went and Googled the, um, uh, actual kit to see how much it was. I saw one place had it 125 bucks and then this website had had it for 95 wholesale or full price, whatever. Cause the way with Marshall's, the way that Marshall's works, I'm pretty sure is that overstock and things like that whole, you know, name brand companies will just throw it at those stores under the, uh, retail price just to make something off of it. It's always fun when I see pro Rezo. Every now and then, it's very rare, but every now and then we'll get Parezo in our Marshalls. And it's funny because it's like Christmas and no one's no one's bought it. But we know how good it is, don't we? Alright, so I was killing time a little bit. I wanted to see about this oil. I'm not impressed. I don't really feel it. It's very sticky. Really tacky. I don't like that. I mean, even for oil, man, that was really sticky. I mean, it's quite viscous. Again, even for an oil. Um, if you get it on your clothes, I bet you it's going to be a real pain in the ass to wash off. So, we'll see. Someone said it lathered up pretty well. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. So, there it is. The top of it got a little messed up because there is a lid that comes with it. Similar to uh, Goodfellow Smile Soaps. There's a little plate that keeps it, I guess, extra protection. I don't know. Um, definitely a cream. All right, so it is very soft. I know with Trumper, you don't need a lot of the cream. I'm not sure about this stuff. So I am using their brush too. I think I mentioned that. The only thing I did with this brush was I rinsed it out to get any uh, debris from the factory out of it, you know, dust or anything of that nature. And I'm just using uh, my uh, shave bowl there that I got, my Canadian shave bowl. I'm going to get to lather. See how it goes. It smells pretty good. Not as powerful as Pro Razor, so I definitely agree with that. Wow, it's actually lathering right up. I'll probably add some more. Let's see what happens. Um, so yeah, so if you go and buy this retail, you're going to be paying at least a hundred bucks for it, which we'll see if it's worth it. In my opinion, anyways, I'm going to get some more cream. You don't need a lot. It looks like not bad. This is a big old tub of cream too. It's huge, big ass tub. Five ounces, doesn't look like it, looks more. Looks like more. Probably just because it's taller. All right. I don't know if I need to add water or not. Maybe a little, maybe not, we shall see. I am gonna wet my face again. Sorry.
I really didn't like that pre-shave. I think it's gone. I think I rinsed it all off. It didn't even soak into my skin really. I'm not impressed with that at all. That is all right. A little runny. I think I added too much water. Let me see. I'll add some more. Some more cream. So I uh, hope everyone's been doing great. Uh, we just got back from New Hampshire. That was a fun little adventure. Much needed uh, vacation. My daughter had her eighth birthday. And around beginning of the year, we were talking, you know, right after Christmas, she started asking about her birthday and we said, well, what do you want to do? And she said she wants to have a party with her friends. Well, before, I'm sorry, before that she had asked about New Hampshire because she loves going to New Hampshire in the winter. So then we, when she brought up her birthday, we said, would you rather do, we gave her a choice. Would you rather do something with your friends or go to New Hampshire? Look at that. That's not bad. It's a little bubbly. A little more than I would like, but that's all right. So let's start lather and see how it goes on. Uh, we said, do you want to do a party or do you want to go to New Hampshire? And then little baby girl picked New Hampshire. She'd rather do a family vacation. And uh, turns out we needed it. We were gone. We caught, we sent him to school for half a day on Friday. Today is Thursday, so almost a week ago. We sent him to school for half a day. Just so Jess and I could, you know, take care of stuff before we went packing and the like. And then I went and picked them up and we immediately hit the road. Well, not immediately. <laughs> the plan was to immediately hit the road. We didn't do that. And it was about a three and a half hours. Well, the drive there was about actually four and a half hours because traffic was terrible. We left later than we meant to, which means we hit Boston right at the beginning of rush hour, unfortunately. But went well. We ended up going to a hotel with a little indoor water park in it. Had a lot of fun. You know what? Just for the hell of it. Here's a photo of that. There's the water park. I'll do two. There's an idiot selfie of myself. And I'll do that for editing purposes. And there's a picture of the kids. And there's a photo of, you know, a couple more of Jess. She'll kill me if I put them up there. But a lot of fun. So unexpectedly, by the way, real quick, uh, look at the, that lathers very well. I have a decent amount left too. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Feels good, went on very well. I wouldn't say this is thirsty at all. I mean, it is a cream, but cream, I mean, creams can be thirsty, I think. I have the Colonel Conk coconut cream and I'm pretty sure I haven't used that in a while, but I'm pretty sure I used a decent amount of water for that it's nice stuff I have a feeling it doesn't go down the length of the entire jar I think there's an insert inside of this jar that would come out if I tried just to make it look big which is all right all right so treat blade let me wait a second actually looks like it's dissipating a bit Wish I'd written down the ingredients. I didn't think of that. Yeah, see, it gets thick. Huh. I'm not sure about this stuff yet. I'll tell you what, thus far, I'd be pissed off if I spent $100 on this. I won't lie to you. I mean, I put a lot of that pre-shave on, and that pre-shave sucked. It came off right on my hand. It sucked. All right, let's get going. But, um, so unexpectedly, we ended up getting about a foot of snow the day after we got there. And 
that was nice because where we were was uh, we went to a town called North Conway. That's actually the paper. I grabbed it on uh, on our way out the day we left. Just as a little reminder. That was the front page of the Conway newspaper, North Conway. And uh, the main street in front of the hotel was dead. And so my sons and I went walking out in the snow, in just a lot of snow. And the snowflakes were like the size of nickels and quarters. They were huge flakes, huge flakes. It was absolutely gorgeous. And there were wreaths. And Christmas lights up everywhere still. I mean, I can't even elaborate on how absolutely beautiful it was. And here's a picture of my son Connor and I walking out in the middle of a four-lane road in the snow at about 11 at night. And at the end of this video, I'm going to throw up a handful of of photos of North Conway, like the train station, some houses. I love taking photos. I've developed, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm not a Brian Yost or anything like that. How you doing, Brian? Hopefully you get a kick out of that if you see this. But I have, again, begun to get an eye for stuff that I, I try to get a photo of. Doesn't always work out. It's fun. But I will throw some photos of our trip at the end of this. So this stuff, the cream isn't bad at all. It's very slick, very slick actually. Really slick. Not cremo slick but maybe close to Cremo Slick. I missed a spot right there because my mustache is in the way. Oh, sorry, gotta stay in frame. Oh, so that website I found it on, I forgot to mention that. Wrote it down. Lovelyskin.com, never heard of them. That's where I found it for $95, and you can get the original or sandalwood. Um, so, I don't know. I, I do like the cream. Maybe I rushed that pre-shave oil. I don't know how one would. I mean, I just kept adding water to what re-wet my face, and I'm pretty sure I just wiped it right off. It, it didn't even soak into my skin. So that pre-shave oil really sucks. I'll I'll try it a couple times after this, just to be sure. But I'm an avid user. Just for the record, I am an avid pre-shave oil user. I always use pre-shave oil. I feel odd with my shave if I don't. I use it all the time. And so... I have a lot of pre-shaves. I even use some beard oils as pre-shave oils. I have Cremo, uh, a Cremo Pine beard oil that I love to use as pre-shave oil, especially for my pine soaps. Any that I have that don't already have pre-shave with them. Like Sterling and the like. But this, I don't know if it's the Treat Blade. This is a very mild razor too, the King C. Gillette. Combination of everything, but this is a really smooth shave. And I haven't used treats enough to have an opinion about them. I haven't used them in enough razors. Maybe y'all can comment below. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that have far more expertise with the treats than I do. To be honest with you, between you and me, I forgot I even had them. And the only reason I picked them was because uh, it matched the photo. 
usually when I'm reviewing something, I'll try to use something practical, nothing cuckoo. You know what I mean? Like using a shavette on something and saying it sucks. Well, not everyone's going to use a shavette, dude. Use a double-edged razor. Then branch out. In my opinion, anyways. I don't know. Again, not an expert on the reviews. That's just how I try to do it. So that is why I picked the King C. Gillette. Because artist shaving, in some places, you can just you can actually buy it in big box stores. Such as Marshalls. And if you wanted to try it, first thing you go do is try to find a razor. You can go to CVS, get their good line, butterfly, twist open, or one of these bad boys. You know, I picked up the King C Gillette just to get it. I had to. It's a three-piece razor available at Walmart or Walgreens or wherever. But I am just in love with this razor. This is one of my favorite razors I have. In fact, even the blades. I am so impressed with King C Gillette that I've actually started trying their other stuff. I even have their uh, shave gel. Anywho. So, it will dry up pretty quick once you do a pass or absorb or both. It smells really good. I wish it were a little stronger. But for sandalwood, I think this is about the limit that most people would want it. I love sandalwood. Absolutely love it. So I wouldn't mind stronger. But most people would more than likely say this is plenty strong. Dare I say some might even say it's a little too, a little too strong, but who knows. All right. So let me go ahead. That's good. Let me rinse off. I'll tell you about post shave. One sec. Okay. So rinsing that off, that stuff's pretty slick. Missed the spot. So it's pretty good. Look at that. Damn it. One sec. Take two. <laughs> um, I was just thinking, like, I need to edit that out, but now I'm not going to do that. So post shave, really good. Very slick. Feels really nice. So what polar opposites, man? I might be wrong. Maybe it's just quick absorbing and it absorbed that quickly. Um... I, I don't, I'm not impressed with this. I might just, I don't know. I might just put it on and just leave it, mess with it without using any other product. But this stuff, I like this cream. Very slick. Uh, could use a little more cushion. Not as much cushion as I would like, but very slick. Um, pretty good. Easy to whip up. Not bad at all. Um... Let me go ahead. I probably shouldn't if I'm doing a technical review and just use the balm outright, but nah. I love using Splash. I love that burn. Oh, I miss using Clubman. I haven't used Clubman in a while. Mmm. I need to start breaking out stuff that I haven't used in a long time. Like I got, I have Tabac, Tabac, however you say it, Trumpers. Mm. I have Cobble Hill Farm, a puck I want to try. I still haven't tried it. I bought it and I haven't used it. I bought a couple from them. How are you, John? ex coasty Chief there. Made me that beautiful spalted maple 30 millimeter brush. Oh, good splash. All right, let me move on from that. Sorry. Still going to be 30 minutes. I didn't even do a history shave. So again, I'm sorry. I, it doesn't have the ingredients. It just talks about where it came from. That's all that's on the label. They'll have art of shaving. I've never seen it on the bottom of the thing, too. 
that little cap that's on the cream. Of course you came off too, you ass. Well anyway, on the top of that cap, underside of this stupid cap, I can get it. Boy, that's annoying. There we go. Art of shaving. Um, let's try the bomb. Oh, don't even unscrew. Hey! It's a pump. Okay. We'll do six. Also viscous. It left a little string once it came out of the pump. It smells good. Ooh. Smells good. Smells more greener. More greener. More green. Maybe it's the splash mixed in with it, but... <sighs> absorbs right in. Wow, that was quick. It absorbs right in. All right. Real quick. Wow. Okay. Um, this is not worth 100 bucks. If I paid 100 for it, I'd be pissed off. The brush is cool. I mean, it's basically a synthetic Volfix, is what it reminds me of. Volfix Classic, of which I have the Badger and the Boar. I don't even think they make synthetic. Um, this stuff's pricey. I have seen it before. I think it's around $30 on Amazon, something like that. I would get this for that. Having used it, I wouldn't mind paying 30 bucks for this. You won't use a lot of it. Tub will last you a while. Like I said, it's five ounces. This was a waste of the jar. I'd rather have the jar than what's in it. Uh, again, I'll mess with it, see if I'm wrong, but not worth it. Um, quick absorbing. Uh, you can hit it, you know, take it or leave it. Post with the cream, just the cream itself is pretty good, but I mean, I like it. I don't know how much the balm on its own is. Probably pricey. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but uh, 100 bucks for that? I don't think so. Now that I have used it, would I have paid 60? For, yeah, I, I'd say so, yeah. I think that's a pretty good deal. That's about the limit, though. I think it was 60 at 170. Smells good. Cream's fantastic. I really like the cream. I'm actually very surprised, very pleased. I've been on the fence about getting that for like two years. So, anyway. All right, um, that's about it. Funny story, let me start cleaning up. We had a timeshare guy, we were walking around downtown North Conway. There's a guy in front of a hotel, in a booth. Yells over at us. Hey guys, where are you from? And we're like, oh, we're from Cape Cod. He goes, oh, uh, I've been to Falmouth, which is a town near us. And we're like, cool, man. And he's just like, you know, y'all, y'all like it here? And we're like, yeah. And he called us over and for 10 minutes, this Jew, I mean, he was like the craziest, probably one of the best salesmen because he immediately drew our kids in. He wouldn't give us a chance to say anything more than, yeah. Started breaking out all these maps. He brought out a Santa's sleigh brochure, gave it to Abigail, our daughter, our little daughter. And I'm like, as soon as he did that, I'm like, you little bastard. We knew what he was about by then. So basically, he went into this 10, 15 minute spiel, wanted us to sign a thing, have a free lunch, free dinner, free two night stay at some hotel, all these trails, all this stuff. And it finally dawned on us that we had a timeshare guy on our hands, which means that during the hike through those trails, we probably have guys repelling from trees like, hey, you enjoying yourself? You know, for $59.99 a night, you can blah, 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 blah. And it just reminded me of that King of Queens episode. But um, it was quite interesting. The funniest part was I was like, look, we're going to keep walking. How long, how long are you going to be here today? He goes, oh, you, you know, basically if you walk away, it, we're not going to do it. And I went, oh, okay. So you need a commitment. He goes, yeah, yeah, I need a commitment. I said, I'm not doing that. Sorry. 
and he promptly, it was a sliding window in this booth. He slammed the window, he went, okay, and slammed the window and just turned his back to us. And we were like, oh, it was pretty funny. I got a kick out of it. For the rest of the day, I was like, we should go back and mess with the booth guy. I should like walk by with those glasses with the nose and the mustache and be like, hello, good son. My brother told me I could procure a hiking trail adventure or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? It was pretty funny. It was a good, you know, really good, good vacation. A lot of snow. Again, there's pictures coming, so stay tuned for another minute or two. 30 minutes, God. Oh, well. All right, that'll do it. Um, Art of Shaving Sandalwood Cream. Love the cream. Balm is not bad. Don't mind the balm. If you see it, I mean, if you're curious enough to try it, I'm, I, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I, I'm... I've only used it once, maybe been to the doubt at this point, but I am not impressed with this stuff. Most of it stuck to my hands and I think is on the towel now. So, but definitely try this if you're on the fence about it. it smells very good. A little pricey, but I think definitely worth it. it. It's far better quality than I thought it would be. So, right from that, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, be safe. Enjoy the rest of winter. Um, all you guys down south, I was driving, the day I was driving home, my mom had one of those tornadoes go right past her house in LaPorte, Texas. Um, I have some friends in Deer Park. There's like seven tornadoes near her. I think there's a little over a dozen. It's like a baker's dozen tornadoes total in that area. So anyone down south, Doug Embry, um, Bradley, damn, I got to text you, buddy. You guys just, I think you're okay. But anyone who's affected, I hope you're okay. Hope you get your power back, all that stuff. Take care. Thanks for watching. Happy shaving, guys. Till next time.